new season of Ranked Battles starts soon. At WG Fest, we announced some of the changes awaiting players in the upcoming season. Now it's time to talk details. Let's start with role experience. Role experience is a new mechanic in the XP crediting formula that will replace the experience for active battle actions. Situations where players who didn't make any tangible contribution to the battle outcome were top of the team by experience became quite common due to this old system of XP crediting. It often happened due to crediting XP for active battle actions. This led to tons of questions from players and it wasn't quite obvious how it was calculated. Since in ranked battles it's important where players place, we decided to start reworking the experience system, starting with this very mode. Each Tier 10 vehicle will be assigned a role depending on its purpose in battle. Roles will correspond with a certain set of actions. For scouts, this means spotting, assistance and assisted damage. For a heavy tank, this usually means blocking and dealing damage. Yes, heavy tanks such as the Mouse and the Super Conqueror will have the same set of roll actions. However, it's obvious that it's easier to block damage and trade hit points in a super heavy tank, whereas it's easier to deal damage in the Super Conqueror. That's why we balanced the roll experience for this vehicle class with different coefficients. Even among vehicles of the same type, we've outlined the role groups. For example, the role actions for assault TDs will be more like a heavy tanks, while ambush TDs, such as the STRV or grill, will have other coefficients. When you perform role actions, the coefficient in the experience crediting formula rises. It is applied to the sum of experience earned for dealing damage, destroying enemy vehicles, and assisting allies. The goal of role experience is to recognize the player's correct actions and also make experience crediting more transparent. Role experience is not the only deciding factor of the whole experience formula. Players will continue receiving XP for regular actions such as damage, assisted damage, and vehicles destroyed. So if a mouse driver is destroyed after blocking 10,000 damage, but doesn't show any results regarding damage, vehicles destroyed, and assistance, they won't get any role experience. In future ranked battle seasons, we will disable team damage from friendly fire and ramming. We're removing intentional team damage to decrease toxicity and let players concentrate on battle. However, we don't want artillery to send shells into groups of allied and enemy vehicles and not be punished. That's why we kept the feature of stunning allied vehicles. For stunning allied vehicles, artillery will receive an experience penalty which will affect its position in the team results. Also, you can be labeled locally as a team killer and get banned for stunning allied vehicles. You can fire at your allies, but you won't be able to damage or destroy them anymore. We have significantly reworked the progression system for the next season. There will be four divisions and three leagues. Within each division, there are 15 ranks. Progressing through them is linear. So you go from the initial division to the final one and end up in one of three leagues. We revised the progression system so that it would be harder for the less skilled players to get to the top leagues. We also tried to make it so skilled players could still complete the whole progression within the season duration. Divisions are permanent. If you progress to the next division, you'll stay there, even if you don't perform well after that. We've also kept shields, a level of protection at certain ranks, allowing players a little leeway for a set number of battles. The number of chevrons between ranks has also changed. The number has been reduced, so to lessen the difficulty for players and make the progression both doable and enjoyable. Starting from the next season, we will add another mechanic that allows players to progress through the ranks even faster. They will be called prize battles. Prize battles are a new ranked battles mechanic. They work just like the first victory daily multiplier, but instead increases the number of received chevrons. 
This means that when the prize battle is active, you will get double the chevrons. Two instead of one, four instead of two. If you don't get a chevron, the prize battle won't be activated. As a player moves from one division to another, a certain number of prize battles will be credited. The number of prize battles depends on how you performed in the previous division, how fast you progress through it, and your play effectiveness. This will allow players aiming for the top leagues to pass through divisions as fast as possible. Players in the top 20% will reach the Golden League, the next 30% will play in the Silver League, and the remaining 50% in the Bronze League. We would also like to point out the so-called sprinters, the most determined players who complete the divisions and get into the leagues first. Regardless of what league they finish the season in, they'll get the same rewards as those in the Golden League. The rewards during the season will be familiar. Credits, bonds, gold, unique styles, and many more. However, there will also be new rewards. We plan to have three ranked battles seasons this year. At the end of all three seasons, players will receive a final reward. Depending on your results throughout all three seasons, you will also have an opportunity to get additional rewards, the main one being a unique Tier 9 tank. Ranked battles will start soon. See you on the battlefield. Fight and defeat your peers. Rule the new season.